missed assignments, which I think is a big concern when you have a young guy stepping in, but that hasn't been the case. Um, you know, I think it's just something where they're going to continue to grow. You know, that's that's part of being young. This game could be a breakthrough, and then you got a bye week. You know what I mean? I mean how much is the bye week going to help um, the health, I guess, of the offensive line? I think it'll be good. Um, you know, I think it'll be good just to kind of have a week where you're, you know, you know, everyone on the team is not really getting pounded. Um, but at the same time, you know, we're not we're not really thinking about that. We're just thinking about our next opponent and. Um, you know, maybe it's something guys have in the back of their mind, but it's certainly not something that anyone's brought up or, or mentioned. You know, we're just focused on Colorado. Coming back in front of the home crowd, is that going to help uh, the team? You know, at all, it's going to be a lot different than the past two weeks on the yeah. kind of hostile environments, right? Yeah, no, definitely. It'll be uh, nice to be back at home in front of our fans. Um, I think it'll be nice to kind of get an early game. Uh, last few weeks we've had we've had late games, which is fine. Um, but I think uh, it'll kind of be good to get back to our, our more normal routine. John, for Colorado, obviously early on them on film. Obviously, they're very good. It seems like stopping the run. How, how would you break down the deep? Um, well, it's still still pretty early in the week. We're going to continue to look at them, but uh, I think they're strong up front, um, and I think their defense is going to play sound. They're, they're not going to make very many mistakes. So, um, definitely going to have to earn everything everything we're going to do against them. What kind of challenge is it prepping for a team that hasn't played in three weeks? You, know, you don't have that much film for. You know, it's. Uh, you know, I don't really think about it that much. You know, we're going to have a couple good games on them. Um, obviously, we're going to go back and, and look at some San Jose State film. Um, so uh, it, it, it's a little bit of a challenge, but at the same time, we're not trying not to overthink it. Um, for, for you guys, cutting down on the mistakes, now that you guys have a chance to look at your film from that Saturday, last Saturday, I know you took a lot of responsibility on your shoulders for the fall starts and whatnot. How easily correctable are those mistakes that you guys made? You know, I think uh, looking back at it, I think, I think they're all pretty correctable. You know, I don't think it was anything anything crazy um, you know just kind of simple mistakes whenever you have false starts um, obviously it's a mistake you don't want to have but it's one that you can fix pretty easy so um, looking for, moving forward I think I think we'll be fine with that. Sean you guys are perfect in the amount of targets you have or how are you guys perfect in the red zone? Well you know when, when we when our offense looks at the red zone it, uh, you know we're perfect in that we're scoring but at the same time we want to pride ourselves on getting seven every time so I think it's a little bit deceiving. Um, obviously, we're happy we're not turning the ball over, um, not taking sacks out of the, that get us out of field goal range. But um, you know, I'm happy with with our success we've had down there so far. But um, continuing to kind of work towards getting seven every time. It, it, people talk about the offensive line and his inability to run the football or whatever, but the pass protection, seemingly all year, has been really, really good. Is that correct? Oh, definitely, definitely. Uh, our pass pro has looked looked real strong. Um, I'm really proud of the way you know some of the younger guys have stepped in. Guys have had to move a position, um, and all of it's remained really sound. So, um, as guys continue to get healthy, guys continue to get more experience. I think it'll only improve, and I think it'll kind of carry into our entire offense. Do you think it's kind of sort of being overlooked the fact that there really hasn't been the same line in all four games? Uh, you know, maybe there's something to that, but at the same time, a lot of guys are, are versatile. Um, you know, Isaac's played two different positions in all three games, so. I think uh, you know guys are shuffling around, so we have the same guys in, um, maybe at a different spot. But I think, you know, I think they've looked really steady. You know, regardless of who's in there. How about Sean? I mean, obviously, he's not registered this year. Mm -hmm. Mike said he battled out there on San Diego State. How's he come along from your eyes? Oh, he's he's coming along real good. Um, I think that's a great way to describe Sean. He's a battler. Um, obviously, a really really aggressive player. Which uh, you know I like to see on offense. Maybe the defense doesn't like it as much, but uh, that's that's okay with me. But um, he's a guy you know he's gonna you know play real hard. You know he's gonna be physical, so he's gonna he's gonna have a real good experience uh, this game, and he'll continue to to grow.